Fancy Nancy and the Late 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 Night by Jane O'Connor, illustrations by Robin Price Glasser and Carolyn Brack. I adore visiting my neighbor, Mrs. Devine. Here, we are having tea on her veranda. That's a fancy word for porch. When she was a child, Mrs. Devine lived in Hollywood. She used to see lots of movie stars. Only Mrs. Devine calls them celebrities. Isn't that fancy? She has a special scrapbook of photographs. Some are autographed. That means celebrities sign them. Your scrapbook is extremely fascinating, I say. Fascinating is even more interesting than interesting. Ooh la la, Mrs. Devine says I can borrow her scrapbook if I bring it back tomorrow. Mercy, 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 I say. At home, I pretend that I am a Hollywood celebrity. I dress up in my most glamorous attire. That's fancy for clothes. I give my autograph to all my fans. I pose for photographs. I am late for a glamorous Hollywood party, I tell my fans. Au revoir. You say it like this. Au revoir. That's French for goodbye. On my door, I put up a sign that says, Do not disturb, because celebrities need their privacy. I want to look through Mrs. Devine's scrapbook, but I hear my dad calling us all to dinner. After dinner, I learn all my spelling words. I am practically an expert at spelling. Before I know it, Mom says, Nancy, time for bed. Oh no, I haven't had a second to look at the scrapbook. I beg my mom to let me stay up later, but my mom says no. It's a school night. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow you can stay up later. I put on my nightie and get in bed. My parents kiss me goodnight. Sleep tight, they say. But guess what? I am not going to sleep. Under the covers I have concealed, that's fancy for hidden, a flashlight and a scrapbook. I stay up very late. It is almost 10 o'clock when I put away the scrapbook and turn off my flashlight. I bet even celebrities don't stay up this late. The next morning when my dad wakes me up, I am exhausted. Exhausted is even worse than tired. At recess, I am too exhausted to jump rope with Bree and my friends. I miss three of the words on the spelling list. My brain is exhausted too. After school, I return Mrs. Devine's scrapbook. She asks if I would like to stay for dinner and watch a movie called National Velvet. It is on TV tonight. It is about a girl and a horse. I loved it when I was your age, she says. It sounds fascinating, but I can hardly keep my eyes open. I go home and start weeping, which is fancy for crying. When my dad asks what's wrong, I confess. I was naughty. I stayed up late last night and I had a terrible and exhausting day. My dad doesn't scold me. He says, now you understand why you need a good night's sleep. That night I go to bed even earlier than my sister. On Saturday I wake up feeling glorious again. Glorious is fancy for wonderful. And guess what? Mrs. Devine taped the movie for me. I can see it tonight. Dad was right. Even fancy girls need their beauty rest. Mm -hmm.